Frederico, a little gray mouse, would go on a walk to the forest every morn. He wasn't enjoying his walk very much this particular morning because he had left without having breakfast. He was getting really, really hungry when he noticed a bush bursting with big juicy raspberries. There was only one problem. There was a giant lion taking a nap in the shadow of the bush. A little mouse like me can't wake such a big lion. He won't even feel me, he thought as he ran up the lion's back. almost had a berry in his hand when the lion, woken by the tickling, slammed the little mouse to the ground and trapped him under his claws. Uh, I, uh, I didn't mean to wake you. Those raspberries look so juicy and I am so very hungry, he finally choked out. The lion stared him down for a moment and then said, I know what it's like to be hungry. I am hungry all the time, laughed the lion in his deep voice. Do not worry, you have nothing to be afraid of, little mouse. The lion lifted Frederico so that he could reach the juiciest berry on the bush. Thank you, said the mouse. I would love to be able to help you someday. You? Help me, ha, laughed the lion. I can't imagine a little rodent like you ever helping the king of all animals. But Frederico wasn't listening. He breathed a deep sigh of relief as he scurried away to tell all his friends about what had just happened. In the evening, Frederico returned home, exhausted from the day's excitement. The sun was setting and the little mouse hummed as he went. He was passing the raspberry bush when he heard a pitiful lion roar. He ran towards the sound. When he got there, he could not believe his eyes when he saw the animal king captured in a giant net. The lion had fallen into a trap and had been stuck for hours, but no one dared help him because they were all afraid for their own lives. Federico didn't even have to think. He hopped up on the lion and began chewing through the net with his little mouth teeth. Chewed and chewed until finally he chewed a hole in the net 
and freed the animal king saying, one good favor deserves another. You are right, you little rodent, said the thankful lion. You saved my life. I was too proud to think that a little mouse could ever help a king. Or even worse, that a lion like me might ever need any help at all. But I was wrong. Please forgive me. You will always be safe and welcome by my side. And from that moment on, Frederico and the mouse became the best of friends.